out yet, yes. but we will have figured that out before this actually goes to air. I'm Brian, this is my friend Helenka. So, so tonight's recipe, we're going to make a pork tenderloin, which I have had uh, festering in my refrigerator back here. Festering is my word for marinating. Um, I've also started and completed uh, fingerling potatoes, so I'm going to show you exactly what those actually uh, look like. And I thought I would do uh, a roasted asparagus. Which so, sounds divine. So it'll be a good meal. Um, we're going to try and have some fun. So I thought what I would do now is, is describe to you what I actually, and show you what a fingerling potato actually looks like. Have you seen one yourself? Yes, yeah. but I've already forgot. You forgot what it looks like. Yes. So hopefully this pan is not hot. So I'm going to bring over this tray of lovely fingerling potatoes as it falls off. So please keep in mind, this is our first video. We're working through all the technical <laughs> details as we uh, do these types of show. So fingerling potatoes are a little bit different than your regular potatoes. I find they actually have much better flavor. Uh, Helica can hold up our tray here. So anyway, the way I made these particular potatoes, um, I just cleaned them, put them on a, a tray. And then I put some olive oil with salt and pepper, and then roast them in a, an oven that was about 350 for about an hour. Was it freshly ground salt and pepper? Absolutely, always in this kitchen. Very good. So the next dish we're going to actually prepare is the pork tenderloin. So what I have done with the pork tenderloin is I've taken uh, a plastic bag and I've actually put some marinade into it. Okay. So I have a prepared tray here, and this is what it looks like we have a a cookie tray. I put some tinfoil on the bottom. It just helps with cleanup the mess afterwards. And I have one of these neat little things, which is just a baking rack. It is Use the old-fashioned fingers. Yes. Which can be kind of messy. So we'll just take it out. It's a beautiful pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. It's been marinating for a while. And then we'll put it in the, fr in the fridge. Yeah, that's how we cook in this place. We put things we in the fridge. Think, no, we, well, we actually do things the opposite. The opposites of, of you know the way normal, normal, customary. But then again, we were, just, we were ever normal. So I'm going to put the timer on. I love doing things with a timer. And I would say about 30 minutes. So it's 30 15 minutes before it's actually completed. I'm actually going to put the asparagus in. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just reuse the tray that we already have. Okay. And I'm going to um, just put these on to another dish. So I'm going to take, I've got these beautiful big asparagus here. That's my turn for it. So we'll the whole forest of them. They're quite lovely. They are. And um, we're not going to use them all. Now, I'm going to show you something that I do. I don't know if you do this yourself. I might do it as well. How to actually break them. You, you, you know break, yes, you hold it between the two, the two like hands, this, and it breaks off at the natural point. Done. There we go. Now, what I've done here is I've actually arranged it in a flat pattern. Yes. Lovely. Yes. So I've got some olive oil. What so. is the brand name? Uh, this one, it's Krinos. Okay. Oops, here I am, I'm using actually uh, freshly cracked salt on it. Pepper, giver. So, yes, some of you are going to be squeamish about the amount of pepper you well, put we, on things. Well, we but, like spicy uh, things. So anyway, this is going to go into the oven and we're about 15 minutes away. So I'm going to actually put it into the oven now. And then maybe around the five minute mark, just before the asparagus are done. No, I'm not going to turn it, but I am going to put Parmesan cheese on it. Oh. looking at I think I'm going to take the asparagus out. Okay. And we're going to put the cheese on. So, um, do we have any other stories that we can t impart to people? Well, one of the things is that we uh, we love to decorate. Uh, ah, good point. Yes. Uh, Brian gave me a an incredible birthday party last year, and he created a tropical forest in his living room. And uh, he even had a fan behind one of the tropical trees so that it would blow uh, a breeze and the leaves would rustle. Uh, the, one of the other things is that uh, we love taking pictures um, at our parties. We don't take pictures of each other, 
we take pictures of the way we've plated the food. And if that isn't... Yeah, we're kind of crazy now. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a, we have a, a tiny obsession with, I think so. with the way we play The way things. we do things. And it's yes. also, it's a memory, too. We yes. realize it. Yeah. I, I usually do like my pork a little bit on the pink side, so I'm going to hope... So do hope I. And pray that this worked out. So, um, oh, I don't know what I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you what the sauce was. All right. So yes, I because have, you, he kept that from me. Yes, I He said it. he would talk about this it. This one is a tangy pomegranate sauce. So I think it's going to be delectable. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you want extra, you can have extra All right. as well afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it smells very, very good. And it's, it, you're cutting it fabulously. On a diagonal. Mm -hmm. It's taken a lot of years to figure out how to do this. I can smell this. It smells so good. So one thing that I like to do as well is, um, you know, you always have to let your meat rest. Mm -hmm. you take it out so that the juices are all reabsorbed instead of Instead dispersing of, yeah. onto your cutting board. Yes. So this uh, pork is beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it was uh, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. 350, mm -hmm. and it comes out perfectly. And the fact that you're not even using an electric have, knife. No, no effort whatsoever. Yes. I think it's, uh, and I love doing these types of marinades. Um, you can use any type of favorite uh, salad dressing. Mm -hmm. for these particular things. Um, or you may even find in your favorite grocery store a sauce that you enjoy. Um, you can do this even with chicken. Mm -hmm. I did something similar yesterday with uh, two chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. So I've had that for dinner. So now I'm going to plate. So we don't use any of those fancy schmancy, uh, you know. <laughs> you use enough fancy. You have enough fancy schmancy. Yeah. But we don't do, we don't have parsley. One of the things I want to do is actually take pictures of the website. So. Yes. Now what he's done is he's made a little pyramid okay, with three pieces of the tenderloin. Tenderloin. And now I'm going to take so a spare guy. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we can do. Anything fancy schmancy here. So my intention, of course, like I said, was to take some pictures of the website. Mm -hmm. So we have to do that as well. And then we have our Which means he's not going to let me eat a uh, right now. <laughs> and some of the fingerlings. Yes. Fingerling potatoes. We have to rearrange this a little bit later. He's definitely not going to let me eat until he's... Until it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> and cold. And cold. <laughs> but then again, um, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? <laughs> <laughs> And here we have, this is our completed product, hopefully you can see, hopefully, mm -hmm. of course I will well, take pictures. I can see. You can see, looks good. Yes. And um, I think that's about it for our show. Yes. I wanted to thank everybody for watching and, and you know, um, it's our first show, <laughs> so I'm sure. It's, as if you couldn't ooh, tell. As if you couldn't tell, so <laughs> there's going to be lots of mistakes, I'm sure, but you know what, we've had fun. Today. Yes. It's been fun. Well, we've had fun for the last 15 plus years. So, so why should, share that fun too. Why should the future be any different? Absolutely. Yes. So, thank you very much. Yes. Have a